Hi and welcome to another episode of QuickBooks Online Tips for the South African market. Today I'll be showing you how to rename your estimate to read quote. Many South Africans are confused when they receive a document called estimate and you'd like to have it say quote or if you have recons you probably want to use the word quotancy. Now let's go right into it. Okay, I'm in my dummy company Fish Tank Boys. There's the logo we added last time. Looks pretty neat. One word to take note before we start. Notice that the new or the quick create icon is no more on the top, which was normally on the top right. It is now shifted to the left hand side tab. That's just something to take note of. So we are in the quote section so you've got a new under customers you'll click quote now although it shows quote on the on the on, on the tab as a function the actual form is called estimate now let me quickly go into one of the quotes i'll go into one of my recent quotes that i sent to joe soap and just to prove that i'll go to print preview and i'll click on print preview and it will show estimate now that's the default setting when you first get your QuickBooks Online account. Not to worry, let's change that. To change that, we'll go to the bottom, these four options, you click on Customize. Now on Customize, you'll notice that I already added a My Pro Forma document. Now I'm not going to go into My Pro Forma, I'm going to Standard, which is the standard quote form, and I'm going to edit this current document called estimate so I'll click on edit the current one we're on I've got my three tabs I'll click on the content part because that's the actual thing I want to edit and on the contact part I've got my three parts to the quote I want to go into the first part now, on the first part I've got my form names now I can edit the name of an invoice I can edit the name of a quote and I can also edit the name of a sales receipt. So I will change the word from estimate to quote and I'll click done. Now that solves your problem if you're an English speaking South African. If you're an Afrikaans speaking South African, you are welcome to change it to an Afrikaans version which is Kotasi. Now to change it to Kotwasi, we will go to Customize. Now I've already got my Pro Forma. I will click on New Style. Let's click on New Style. And we'll click on... We can rename. Let's rename this, this quote. And we call this quote in Afrikaans. Let's do that quote in Afrikaans. And I'll click on Content. Click on the first part. Instead of saying Quote. I'd like to call this a Quotasi. And I'll click on Save. Once done, I will now have the option to send this to Joe Soap in either Standard, which should read Quote and not Estimate. That's confirmed. We're happy. Or if Joe Soap is Afrikaans, we can call it the Quotasi by clicking on Customize, choosing the tick to show Afrikaans quote. Go back to my print and preview just to confirm. Okay, we can ignore that for now. And wow, it's changed it to Quotasi. Thanks for watching. I'll be sharing more videos in the future. This video is brought to you by Assad from CFO Hire. If you found this video useful, you enjoyed it, and it really helped you, you're welcome to subscribe. I'll be sharing much more QBO tips and tricks, especially for the South African market. I truly believe that the QuickBooks Online software can really help businesses grow their business, control their business, and I've seen how it's helped many business owners in the business flows.